One of the most commonly asked questions in the security industry is how do I get started? You can see a whole bunch of YouTube videos, blogs, I've even made a video of myself saying how not to start a career in cybersecurity. And there is so many different resources and different avenues and different information. People have different experiences of how to get into cybersecurity. In today's video, I'm gonna address really the, the first step that you can take to get into cybersecurity. And I'm gonna answer that right away. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I'm a cybersecurity student. And today I'm gonna to be answering this question head on. So let's just get into the answer right now. What is the first step to get into cybersecurity? Here it is, there's no right answer. Yeah. Okay, I, I know that that's terrible. I just totally gave you a general answer, but there isn't. You know, professionals uh, within this industry, students or professors or uh, people who, I don't know, career advisors, they'll recommend maybe some different ways, different ways you can go into it, but that's limited by their own experiences. And that's limited by their own witness of whatever student or an individual went through it themselves. I'm limited by own, my own frame of mind. Their answer head on may not exactly help you because you're in a different situation than I am. And they're in a different, they were in a different situation than you are. You may not have funds to pay for that online course or that degree. So uh, it really, it pertains to uh, your situation and you have to decide. And uh, so there really is no right answer. Having this in mind, what is one of the first steps you can take? Well, I think first off, understanding your situation, having clarity of what you want to do. I always recommend students get a formal qualification, whether that be a certification, an advanced certification, or a degree. Not necessarily you have to have both, but I would recommend that you can at least have one or the other. Hello? Yeah, what's up, dude? Uh, park right now, recording a video. He just hung up on me. Having uh, this idea in mind, having clarity within your situation is super important. And so I always recommend having that clarity uh, in mind and always using your situation and having what is gonna best fit your situation. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Now, here is the statement I always try to give students. Spark an interest, build a structure. I'm gonna break this down really quickly. Spark an interest, build a structure. To spark an interest, I always recommend first having two things, affordability and accessibility, whatever you're gonna to do to spark this interest, in cybersecurity specifically. I always recommend that you pick up a cheap online course or free. It doesn't have to be uh, that expensive. It doesn't have to be that amazing of training. It can be anything. The two resources I always recommend are Station X and Cyberary. Both of them are really cheap or free. And you can find these courses and maybe they're not the most quality, but you're gonna get what you need out of these courses. Working that interest, building that structure. Building that structure pertains to building maybe an outline uh, or having some, doing some research within the industry, seeing what, ah, oh, you know, what could I be interested in? Maybe I'm interested in the networking side or the compliance side. And coming out with that outline and then take taking some courses, picking up some courses, building some notes uh, out in terms of having uh, and, and building that, sparking that interest. Really a, a key critical thing that you need to keep in mind, starting with the fundamentals. So uh, starting with the security fundamentals or just the general IT fundamentals. I always recommend the complete cybersecurity course for students considering cybersecurity as a career. And I always recommend Cyberary's uh, basic general certification. And to add on to uh, sparking that interest, building that structure, building that outline, and putting those fundamentals in is consistency. You know, we can say that every single day, I wanna get into cybersecurity, I wanna get into cybersecurity. But if you can't be consistent in your learning with whatever that is, whether that's going to class for a formal degree, or going and getting that certification, or investing your time and money up front in terms of getting that certification, or if that's just investing a certain amount of time per day towards the online course, implementing that consistency is going to help you really understand if you actually are interested and have a, an interest, maybe even a potential passion for the security realm. You know, where do you stand within the security? Are you looking for uh, a job that's just high paying and really good job security or are you looking for a little bit more than that? That's up for you to decide. So that is it for today's video. I hope that I can help you uh, understand you know, that there isn't really an exact way to get into cybersecurity. And if someone says this is the way, I would say 
keep that in mind, but also have the consider your own situation. And we're all limited by our own scopes, our own frameworks, scopes. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one.